CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. The energy that you get from the test side and the, the wing, does that filter through to the T20 side? I know it's a completely different set of players, but does that filter through? Uh, I get asked, you get asked that a lot. I'm not really sure. I think, I think you probably do get a little bit of of energy when teams are winning and uh, and the, you know the staff are happy and um, that probably does. But um, I think if you've got a good feeling around a group and good energy around a group, it doesn't really matter what's happened. And I think that's probably us in the last eight or, or ten or eight, eight months. Um, it's, the the feeling around the group's been really good anyway. So regardless of the result, I, I would I'd like to think that our um, our energy's been pretty pretty much uh, consistent. No, I do not. No. Still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. I think, oh, well, I think it'll be finalised this afternoon, I imagine. Um, you saw um, Brad doing some keeping drills with uh, Aaron Finch at the end there. Is there yeah. any chance that he'll get the block? Finchy, no, no, heads, heads will play. You can notch that one up. Um, but I guess um, we don't have a, a, a genuine backup keeper here, so uh, Finchy's going to do a little bit of work. I think Davey Warner's done a little bit of it as well, so a couple of guys there who, who can do it if, if required. Are you expecting the protest to come up strong at St George's Park? Absolutely, yeah, I would expect nothing less. How it is? How many guys have you actually had experience here? And is that a factor that a different video? I'm not sure. Not sure how many have played. I know a few would have. Uh, a few would have played here a few years ago when the IPL was here. A few have played some uh, some Champions League games here as well when they've come across. I think uh, the Victorian team's played here a bit. So um, so quite a few of the guys have, have played here a little bit. Um, quite a few guys have played in, in South Africa, but there's, there's a few of us. I certainly have been here before but haven't played, so looking forward to it. Have you had a good week? No. What do you think about the players in the George I'm not sure because I haven't played here, but I have heard good things. I've heard it's a. I heard that the atmosphere is outstanding. It's a good party atmosphere, um, which always makes you know for this. I think because it's it feels like it's quite close. The crowd's crowd is quite close to you, so that'll uh, that'll be quite good tomorrow. Heard there's a band, I like a bit of music in between balls, so um, should be a bit of fun, I reckon. Hopefully they get right into it. Some of those boundaries look pretty short. Are you expecting pretty significant totals? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it always does depend a bit on the on the wicket, but um, but it's pretty small, um, and the wind too will be, make it hard to defend at different times. So yeah, and and just given the the nature of the two sides, I think both sides post uh, both some pretty strong hitters, big hitters. So um, I would expect a reasonable score. Yeah. Um, great Swans come out on BBC Radio question. One of the things David Warner said is that he thrives on, on a bit of banter out there. He likes it when, when people try to niggle him. Um, and Swan said that's, that's probably not the case, that he, he blows up a little bit. From your experience in domestic cricket, when you've sledged or when you're, someone in your team's been sledging David, has he, has he risen and performed um, even better? Yeah, it wouldn't be my tactic. I think that switches him on. Um, but I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm letting the cat out of the bag there. I think he, when we we send he thrives on the contest. He's a pretty combative little bloke, isn't he? He loves it. So um, yeah, but I, I yeah I um I think he, that's just the way he plays the game. He doesn't draw breath, and that's not only when he's on the field. He doesn't draw breath in the change room, <laughs> change rooms with us either. Have, um, have you ever seen like the, the switch just get flicked to like where he's um you know batting not so well, and then one of your young Tasmanian bowlers tries to needle him and he, he gets angry and gets, gets a lot of runs. Uh, no, I don't think he's ever started off that badly against Tasmania for, for the switch to be flicked. Um, he's had some good run-ins with Ben Hilfenhaus over the years. I think they like to go pretty hard at each other. That always makes for a pretty good entertaining battle. What about Shane Watson? He was man of the tournament in the 2012 edition. How important is this side and doing well in this series and in Bangladesh? Yeah, Watto is obviously really important for us for a number of reasons. Um, I mean, it's 2020 record. If he's, he'd be right up there as one of the best players in the world. Um, so versatile and, and such a good player, uh, and particularly as we will and when we get to Bangladesh, such a good player of spin, so strong. So that's uh, something that uh, will be really important to us. And then his all-round capability, he's just give us such versatility. Uh, and his record, I think, as a as a T20 bowler has been really good, underrated sort of bowler, and can bowl right 
throughout the game at a lot of different a lot of different periods. So um, Watto up and firing is is a really important cog for us, and just his experience. I mean, he's played so many big tournaments and big games now. He, um, you know, he's the way he approaches that's really important for the way that other guys look to him to see how he plays. Now that um, Dale Stale is injured, what do you think of the protest bowling attack? Still pretty good, I think. Certainly in their T20, they've still got a lot of experience. Uh, guys who have played a lot of T20. There's a, there's a couple of new faces in there, but um, the mail that we're getting is that those guys are... Um, there's some, still some very good skill coming through. So um, I, I don't think that... I don't think South Africa will be too worried. I, you know, I think Dale will be right for, for Bangladesh. It's probably going to work out to be a really good opportunity for, for a couple of those younger guys to step up and stake a claim. Just on those guys, have you, you watched all the videos and you have good info? Uh, on, on most, yeah. Um, I think we've, we've got a team meeting this afternoon. We'll sit down and go through a few more. Uh, I would imagine both sides would be in the same sort of frame of mind that these three games will be as much a focus on uh, their own their own performances and their own tactics in terms of leading up to Bangladesh. So, um, you know, whilst every international you you're pretty switched on, you're keen to get a you keen to get the right result. Um, there will be sort of one eye, I reckon, on the, on what's coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, not sure. Don't know. Yeah, that's probably the one thing to nut out this afternoon. Last one. In terms of the approach, seeing that there's a big tournament coming up uh, soon after the last. Uh, No, no, I don't think it will. I mean, I, well, I don't think we we'll try and change our approach leading up to anything. But, but what we will try and do is, I guess, is, is give some guys some opportunities in roles that we think they might, they might have coming up to Bangladesh. Um, challenge a few guys to do some things that they haven't done differently. Um, yeah.